Welcome, I got something new for everyone today. Hopefully you find this enjoyable. I'm embarking on a project um, using React Native, which is something I haven't done for a while. I played with, Re been doing a lot of React development, did some React Native development in the past, actually went through and took the um, U2C course on it, so I got my React Native certification. Early on, I did do some videos on React Native, but now this is just refresher. I'm just kind of hopping back into it. Um, First, let me show you what, what I'm doing. I just wanted to get a basic framework of an app down and kind of integrate some navigation features that you would normally see. And so what I've built here is a simple application that has a drawer, which is what it's called here. We call it a side menu, but it's called a drawer. And it has um, two pages. It has a home page and it has a profile page. And then the other thing we've added on the home page, you can go down uh, to the detail and get the back button. And then for the last thing, to show a little more navigation, you have an add button, which slides a modal in and then closes the modal out. So that is um, basically what we're going to kind of walk through in this video. Um, but the main part of this video really is all about using React Navigation. So React Navigation is a pretty awesome library that is uh, provided to you that allows you, as they say here in the, uh, as you can see here in the UI, it manages stack, it manages tabs, it manages a drawer, um, it manages the modal, and it also manages deep linking. This is awesome documentation. The link will be included in the bio. I'm doing all this with React Navigation. Um, so I just wanted to make sure I gave them a huge shout out. But here's kind of what the flow for the application is gonna be. Um, we're gonna have a, the default, as they call it, stack, is going to be called the home, st home screen stack. And then inside of that home screen stack, I'm, I'm calling my stacks their navigation stack. So my home, nav home screen navigation stack will have um, two items in it. One is going to be a detail screen, which is just a screen you can navigate to. The other is going to be the drawer, kind of the slide in, side menu drawer screen stack. And then that stack has two screens in it. It has a home screen and a profile screen. And the default screen in my drawer screen stack is the home screen, so that's why when the application first starts up, you actually see the home screen. Um, so that's kind of a graphical representation of what I'm trying to accomplish in the video. So now um, let's hop into the code. Let's start talking about the code. So just so you know, this project was started off using Expo. It's the easiest way to get started. This is not an intro to Expo video, um, but just to let you know how to get started, you npm install global Expo CLI, Expo init my new project. Uh, your project's up and running. And then actually to, well, uh, that, that initialize is, uh, sorry, initialize your project. Um, and then if we hop over here to um, the create new app page, you run, then run uh, Expo Start. And Expo Start will fire up the Metro Bundler. You'll get a nice browser. Let's see if I can show my browser window here. Um, you get a nice browser window that will uh, pop open. And inside that browser window is the Metro Bundler. And then you'll get um, your application shown up in your uh, emulator like this on the side. So let's just hop straight into the code. What you'll notice also is I'm not going to sit here and type a bunch of code in front of you. I'm just going to kind of walk through how I put everything together. So here we have in the root of my app, we have our, our um, initial application component that gets launched at startup. We have imported React Navigation Native because we need a navigation container. The navigation container has to sit at the top level and it wraps everything. Um, and so here's, here's my home stack that I mentioned, which is kind of the root of everything in our application. And I've imported my home stack, sorry, home screen stack from screens at home stack. So let's open up um, home stacks page. And let's just kind of go backwards to this and see what we're exporting. So we're exporting the home screen stack. And one thing, the first thing that you'll notice is that um, I've created this create native stack navigator. That's how you create the uh, navigator that we're using and I have a home stack. And then we wrap the, we're, we're wrapping our screens and our other stacks inside of a home stack navigator. So here is the drawer screen stack being utilized um, at the top level here. And then the next one down is my detail page. And so the detail screen, you can scroll up here and look at a detail screen, it's just a regular React screen. The navigator will provide the, so if you go to our detail screen, 
The navigator will provide the back button functionality. It will provide the header. All we're doing right now is just rendering this view content that you see right here, which is this is the detail page. And so since this um, since this screen is at the top level in my home stack navigator, um, that is why I'm able to go directly to it here. So now if we then go into my drawer screen stack, you can see that I've imported my drawer screen drawer screen stack here. So let's open up our drawer screen stack. And we'll do the exact same way we did. We'll start at the bottom of what's being exported. So I'm exporting a drawer stack. And so now we're in our drawer screen, our drawer stack. And we have our drawer screen stack here. Same kind of approach. We create our drawer navigator. You always wrap the screen with this um, uh, navigator element. Here I'm specifying the initial route. So that's why when this um, navigation stack is being drawn, the home screen is what's shown first. And then here inside of this, this drawer stack, we have the two screens that are in the, in the um, drawer. We have our home screen, which is our default screen, so that's why you see it. And then if I click on the menu, you can see my profile screen. And so that's what this other thing is here. Once again, the same as the uh, detail screen. If we scroll up and look at these screens, um, the stack navigator manages, sorry, in this case, not the stack navigator, the drawer stack navigator manages this, uh, the header and the menu here for the profile screen. And you can see um, on the home screen, because if let's go down and look at, um, uh, on the home screen, let's go back to my home screen. We have an extra button here, and because so what I'm doing here on the side is I am trying to, and I'm not trying to, I'm actually, since I want to be able to hide and show the modal, um, the state is part of this component. So I have to create my button inside of the component as opposed to, you can also set navigation options down here on the screen. But if I tried to set the button on the screen, I wouldn't have access to the component state. And so that is why you can see up inside of here, I'm doing this React use layout effect. And basically this will get called after the DOM is drawn um, to kind of add the button because I need to set, so, uh, set show modal to hide and show the modal on my home screen. And so now if we kind of go, the, the home screen is a little bit different than the other screen, so let's take a quick look here. Um, so first, let's talk about how we're navigating to a detail screen. So here, you inside of um, these screens, as one of the properties, we're getting past navigation. And navigation has a method on it called navigate. And so we're calling, when the button is pressed, we're calling navigation navigate detail. And that is the name of one of the screens that are in the current stack. I mean, sorry, um, it's in the name of one of the screen. Yeah, yeah, it's in the name of one of the screens that are in the current stack. And so I'm able to navigate to that. And then we have our um, set modal, set, so, uh, set show modal. And what we have here is just a simple um, use state, um, a local state variable called show modal. When we call um, set show modal and we set it to true, you can see here, um, I have this my modal component. Let's take a quick look at that. Should have included that file here. Um, where is, oh, what am I doing? It's embedded inside here. Um, so we have my modal component. Let's scroll up to my modal component. And my modal component, it has um, a React Native modal component. And inside of it has a, a child component couple of children, and in the children, um, I'm using the safe area here to make sure that um, when my modal comes up, it doesn't come up in, over here because it is notch. And then inside of that, it's just being treated as a regular page. Um, I just have a close button, and I pass that event, I pass that back to this on click function, and if we go back here, we see the on click just sets the modal to, um, sorry, we go over here, it sets the modal to false, so when the modal's false, the window closes. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, I didn't really want to sit here and type the code. I wanted to kind of walk through and explain it to you. Um, I will post this code along with the video. It kind of took me a while to get the right order for all of this to work appropriately. So I hope that someone out here out there finds this to be helpful also. Um, download the source code, give it a try yourself, and let me know if you found it beneficial at all. 
um, one more time. Let's kind of go back and uh, um, actually let's look at the picture to kind of walk through it again. We have our home stack. And then inside of that, it has our drawer stack. And then our drawer stack has two pages, our home page and our um, profile, our home screen and our profile screen. And then if we go back, um, our home screen stack also has this detail page, which hangs off of it. And they're, since they're all kind of wrapped in the same top level navigator, that's why I can go from this home screen down to this detail screen. So um, once again, a simple Expo program is how I, I mean, Expo applications as I, how I initialize it. I figured let's just start with Expo. It packages everything up nice and neatly. Don't have to download a lot of installs. Um, we got a lot of, um, got, got basically all done through the documentation here from React Navigation. Um, I'll basically include the links below. Um, the, if you look at the guide for drawer navigation, it kind of lays out how to get a simple drawer set up. The challenge that I had was when you were kind of nesting um, the navigators inside of each other, I really couldn't find a good example on how to, how to make it work the way I wanted to work. But, you know, I'll include the link below for drawer navigation, which I encourage you to check out. And then also I found it pretty beneficial to come all the way down here to the bottom and look at the documentation specifically on the... Um, for each one of the navigators because there's, there's extra detail down here. So um, once again, I hope you, you found this video helpful. Uh, in the next video I do, I'm probably going to be doing a little bit more um, actual live coding as opposed to this one. I thought it was just better to kind of step through the pieces so that you have a, a framework to start from. So if you found this helpful, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Really appreciate it. And um, take care. Bye now.